is Christy. I'm the mobile home diva. It's Vlogmas Day Buzz. I'm so excited for Vlogmas because it's taking me out of my comfort zone. And I kind of like being taken out of my comfort zone sometimes. It's time for me to get my hair done. So I put it up. Oh, topic of the day, my hair journey. I've gotten a lot of questions about um, my hair and why I decided to lock it and you know how the journey's been, etc. So let's talk about my hair journey. Um, so first of all, I've done a lot of different things with my hair, but um, you know, relaxers, jerry curls back in the day, texturizers, weaves, wigs, all kind of things. But when I decided to go natural, probably about five or six years ago, maybe longer. No, it's been about five or six years ago. When I decided to go natural, I was all in. and But I still did a lot of things with my hair. So before I continue, let's talk about, let me show you some pics of all the different things that I've done with my hair before I locked it. Esa chica quiere selfie, selfie, ella quiere ver Pa' que el CP se dé cuenta que aquí perdió esa mujer Lo que quiere es enloquecer, ser la mujer que él quería ver Esa chica quiere selfie, selfie, que yo parezca en él Como que ella quiere, disfruta la noche, lo anormal Creo que el novio teme su relación va a terminar Se da cuenta que no necesita alguien más Quiere un selfie para su Instagram right. Ella ya no quiere relación De alguien que diga su condición Que solamente le dé traición Para después llegar con un perdón Quiere andar y ser de esos pibis Que goza la vida y lo hacen como Esa chica iré. quiere selfie, selfie, ella quiere ver Ella quiere ver Porque el CP se dé cuenta Que aquí perdió esa mujer Perdió esa mujer Lo que quiere es enloquecer Ser la mujer que él quería ver Esa chica quiere selfie, selfie Que yo parezca en mí So as you can see I love to style my hair in different ways. Some things worked, some things didn't. Some things were epic fails, and if I didn't like it, I got I took it out quickly. But I just wanted to show you that that you know I tried a lot of different stuff with my hair, and I love color. And as you can see from the ends of my hair, when I first locked my hair, my hair was colored. I haven't colored it since then. I'm thinking about trying it. But right now I'm dealing with some situations with my hair and I'll talk about that toward the end of this video that I need to address first. So, just to tell you about my lock journey, I got to a point with my hair where I wanted to be natural but I wanted to try something new. And I loved my friend and I'm gonna show you her picture here. This is um, my good friend Andrea and she has locks and she just kept telling me you know how free she feels she gets her hair done um and when she gets it done um she doesn't really have to touch it until it's time to get it done again and then how fast it was growing with her locks i think she's been locked about three or four years and this is how long her hair is and you know i just needed to do something different i wanted to do something different with my hair but i wanted to be a lasting something different so I decided to take the journey of locking my hair. And I had heard a lot of people say that it was, it's a journey. And I didn't realize what that meant until I actually started locking my hair. Locking your hair will take you through, especially somebody like me, who loves to do different things with their hair. Locking your hair is a journey because it takes you on a roller coaster, right? Sometimes the road is straight, sometimes the road is rocky, sometimes you're okay with it, sometimes you're not okay with it. 
it is a real process and a real journey and you have to get used to your hair going through different phases so when I first started locking my hair it just looked like I had twist in my hair or two strand twists or little plaits and it was fine but as it grew and as the parts started disappearing like it started looking nappy between the parts and my husband and I both are used to my hair being neat all the time with the different styles like I love braids and cornrows and different stuff like that so we were used to my hair looking neat so when it didn't look so neat, um, doing the in-between getting my hair twisted, it took some real getting used to. Um, especially, if I think more so, I understood the fact that it's gonna look nappy, it's natural. My husband didn't understand it. And at times, he still doesn't understand it. He's like, well, when are you gonna get your hair done? And I'm like, well, I got another week or two. And he'd be like, really? You know, and so I started getting my hair done like every two weeks because I wanted my hu husband to be happy with my hair. But I realized that I have to be happy with my hair and, they, and it has to be a process. So anyway, I'm going through the just got it twisted, not really used to the nappy look. And so I would get a style. Every time I did it, they would style it in some style. And I'll put some clips in as I'm talking so you can, when I refer to it, you know what I mean. So they would put it in different styles. And that would make me happy with it. However, you know, being a big girl with a big face and a big head, I always looked like I was bald-headed. And I didn't like that. But I stuck with it. I would talk to my friend, talk to everybody with locks, talk about how I'm feeling, and they would help me through it because a lot of times I wanted to give up. And after having locks about six months and, and you go through what YouTube calls the ugly phase. That's where your hair looks really bushy. It looks really, it starts to get fluffy and look really bushy. It doesn't look like this looks like a lock. But if you look on the ends, some of it still at times my hair can look kind of bushy so i'm being haunted y'all because i'm at a light it's my turn to turn sorry so um i went through that ugly phase now i wouldn't consider it an ugly phase it's a process that your hair has to go through that i went through it around month five to eight but rather quickly i started seeing my hair actually looking like it was locked and even though it was bushy like that on the ends it started having the formation of actual locks and I love that so and I also started to see my hair was getting just a little more length now keep in mind when I locked my hair I had a big afro and I'll put that picture here as well but when you lock it you see how it went from that to this so now it's starting to grow a little bit, starting to feel, look better to me, more like locks. My styles are, are kind of getting fuller because my hair is getting longer, so the styles are starting to look like I have more hair, so I'm getting real happy with it. And honestly, it wasn't until I forgot that I was so unhappy that I woke up one day and realized that I could put my hair up in a ponytail and I could do different things with my hair that I couldn't do with it before. When I was focused on my hair, my hair wasn't growing. It just was looking ugly. It wasn't doing anything. But when I stopped, when I just got, I think I got comfortable with nappy hair. I had to get comfortable with nappy hair. And once I got comfortable with nappy hair and just stopped caring about it not looking, uh, you know, I, I stopped caring about it looking unkempt and I started being okay with it. I started embracing having nappy hair. It just, it all just like fell in line. So, um, 
I woke up one day and my hair looked like it looked now and I was like loving my hair and when it's like that I um, actually don't go get it done so much now that I'm starting to really like it looking like this I actually like it looking like this like I feel good about my hair I feel good about the length I understand that um, it's growing and I'm okay with it. But right now I'm going through a phase that um, where, because every time I get it done, I have it put up in a style and that it has to be tight. It has to be, it pulls it. So now I have several locks that are really, really thin. Um, really, really thin. And because they're in the back of my hair and because of how I have my hair up right now, I don't know if I'll be able to grab a picture, especially with me by myself and trying to get a picture of it. But I'll try to get a picture when I get back to the house and insert it here of what they look like. Um, but it's really, really thin. Like here, it's thick from the base to the lock. But there are some that are so thin they look like and feel like they're going to break off. So. My loctician has advised me that I can't get it styled for a while. And I've actually we been researching lock repair and I'm gonna see if, if that's something that she can do um, to, to help repair the lock, like make it thicker so it doesn't break off. I don't mind not getting the style because like I said, I am enjoying being able to put it in a ponytail or wear it long or put a headband on or what have you. But I'm going through the thinning lock phase and some days I, I say, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to cut it and start over. Or some days I say, oh my goodness, I'm gonna cut it and just be natural again. Cause I do miss putting it up in a puff or twisting it or bantu knotting it. But researching and seeing how to actually repair the lock, I feel like um, maybe we can work through this. So I'm going to keep you posted on that. But I love having locks. I love being natural. I love embracing natural. Fun fact about me, I used to wear a full face of makeup every day. And since you guys know me, I've not had makeup on. There may have been one or two videos of me, um, and I couldn't tell you where they are, that I have on mascara. But I used to, and lip gloss, but I when I went natural, like, I was already natural. But when I went locks, I went completely natural. I don't wear eyelashes. I have, like, a 100 pair of eyelashes at my house. I don't wear them. When I went no eyelashes, I, I don't even wear color contacts anymore. I'm just all natural. I'm embracing who I am. I feel that I'm beautiful. I feel that I am enough. I feel that I don't need to enhance how I look. Now, if I was doing a photo shoot or if I was going to a real fancy thing and wearing like a gown, then I would put on makeup, but it would be a natural look, not what I used to wear. And so I've either thrown away or given away all my makeup. I still have the lipsticks and lip glosses really don't need them anymore i'm just and i'll put on lipstick and a little mascara if i'm going like we have our worship service on zoom but if i was going to like a special event like the international convention or um an assembly or something i'll probably put on lip gloss and mascara but for the most part i am who i am and i'm loving who i am and i'm grateful for who i am and I just learned how to embrace that and be okay with it. So when I saw Alicia Keys do it, I was so proud of her because that was something that I decided to do as well. So anyway, that's all for this video, you guys. It is Vlogmas a day. Uh-oh. My watch was on the charger all night and didn't charge. Um, whatever Vlogmas it is, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my hair journey. I'll talk to you guys soon.